All right, coming up next, it's a UFC heavyweight showdown. Well, DC, this is a true mixed martial artist of the highest order. You've watched the film. Hard for me to see much in terms of glaring weaknesses, and he believes he can react to anything that is thrown his way inside that arc. It's unbelievable, because whenever you're trying to prepare for someone, you look for weaknesses. But when you watch this guy, you, nothing jumps off the page. When you think I have to go wrestle him, you realize very quickly that not only can he defend takedowns, he can also go and secure them sure. himself. He's that new breed of fighter that has been doing every discipline from the very start of his career. You know you're looking at a guy that will contend for a championship. And if our fighter meeting on Thursday is any indication, confidence not an issue for this young man coming in here tonight. See, here he is, the one, the only. Don't call him Kevin Ferguson. He, of course, is Kimbo Slice. And when you're talking about mixed martial arts and its footprint in the United States of America, Kimbo Slice is a guy who deserves a lot of credit for this mass expansion, at least in my mind. Absolutely, because when Kimbo Slice fought, people tuned in from the Ultimate Fighter to his days outside of the UFC. Some of the biggest TV ratings we've ever experienced are attributed to Kimbo Slice. He's a guy that people just want to see. From the backyard brawls to the octagon, Kimbo Slice is very special. And probably the nicest guy you would ever want to meet. He don't look like it. When that octagon door closes. He doesn't look like exactly. it, but he is a great guy. Our tale of the tape for this heavyweight fight. Two years apart, these two fighters, with some differences in height, but the same reach. Once again, here is the veteran voice of the octagon, Bruce Buck. Ladies and gentlemen, this fight is three rounds in the UFC heavyweight division. Introducing first, fighting out of the blue corner. This man is a mixed martial artist, holding a professional record of 13 wins, 11 losses, and one no contest. He stands six feet five inches tall, weighing in at 264 pounds. Walt, the big chicken, Harris. And now introducing his opponent, fighting out of the red corner. A boxer holding a professional record of five wins, two losses, and one no contest. He stands six feet two inches tall, weighing in at 225 pounds. Fighting out of Miami, Florida, Kimbo Slice! And with the attributes, our referee in charge, Herb Dean. Herb Dean draws the assignment here. Ready. Ready to fight. All right, so here we go with the start of round one. I can tell how excited you are for this matchup. Seems to be a striking advantage on one side, but maybe not. This is a big time fight. It feels like a big moment for both of these guys' careers. Who is going to be able to implement their game plan the best in this matchup between these two big time athletes? And he lands a punch there. Pretty good connection by him. Great connection. He's in a great flow right now. Timing his shots nicely here, champ. He's doing a great job of mixing everything up and using a lot of diverse strikes. And he landed the right hand there. Both guys throwing potential fight enders here in the early going. Oh, big knee to the body. How did he get that one home? Nice hook lands. up again here, but he looks first. Big punch lands over the top. I'll just gonna follow this one. Well, that nose isn't gonna be able to take too many more as he doubles up on the jab there. So good to watch MMA evolve and watch guys now fight behind the jab. Oh, nice. Stuffs that takedown attempt without issue. Nice. 
Well, he's looking for that left hand, just out of range, though, with it. How good is that right hand? Cut there. Slice gets hit with a kick here. Let's see how he responds. Oh! Every time these guys come together, man, you just hear the, the punches and everything landing. Oh! He needs to start looking to finish now because he's got his opponent hurt very bad. Very tricky when he throws that body kick. Starting to do some really significant damage to the body here. Another strike lands there. Big power punch lands. Now he gets back to range. That was a thudding leg kick. And a nice jab. There, his opponent could be out of here soon, DC. He's almost done. I mean, when you get hit with a shot like that, you don't know what. on his first test in elementary school. Well, he had a lot more than a puncher's chance coming in. Big knockdown for him in the previous round. DC, talk us through the highlight. He got in his opponent's face, landed that big punch that put his opponent flat on his back. He couldn't get the finish. But if he lands one more time just like that, he will get the victory. Without a combo, I want the whole <laughs> platter. Give him the whole. Whoa! And just like that, the fight is over. He got him. I'm not sure if that's the way he drew it up, but a huge result for him here tonight as he gets the win by way of knockout, and that's about as good a one-strike finish as we've seen here in the UFC in recent memory. I'm not even sure the opponent saw it coming. So a big, big win for him here tonight. Right, let's take a look back at the replay. It ends up a knockout, but this was really a striking clinic from the moment they touched one. I mean, a competitive fight. That one guy finally found the shot that ended the fight. But both of these warriors displayed a ton of heart. One guy got the finish, but neither guy should be disappointed in their performance. All right, let's get to the official Ladies decision. Here's Bruce Buffett. Herb Dean is going to stop this contest at 59 seconds of round number two. Declaring the winner by knockout, King. 